Hi and welcome to British Ants. Uh, we're going to be moving this colony of leaf cutting ants. Um, so we've got um, the, the view here is the two outworlds side by side. Uh, we've got the feeding area and that's connected via this vine to a dump chamber which is basically their waste, their tip. Uh, that was uh, held over the two containers with uh, fishing wire and the surrounding tanks are lined with anti-slip. So they can only go up the vine and down the vine and they can't get out of either of those containers. The nests are off to the right there. So we just take this dump chamber out. They're uh, amazingly efficient and very clean so they get rid of all their own waste. I tend to keep the dump chambers open so you'll see when we have a look shortly uh, in the top that uh, plenty of air can circulate um, if the dump chambers are closed, they can become very smelly, very, very damp uh, and quite stinky. Whereas when they're open like that, you can see we've got a lip around the top of the tank. They uh, dry out quite nicely and uh, makes quite good plant fertilizer. So those are the fungus chambers. And uh, there we are, straight in there, that's the dump chamber. The twigs and bits in there are actually what I was in there originally, so that they haven't actually removed those large twigs. So this is a view uh, on the floor with plenty of white sheet because they're a brown species and I want to see where they're running. Uh, there's nothing worse than uh, sitting there and finding you've got leaf cutters running up your legs. So we can uh, quickly pick any up and put them back where they belong. Uh, we've got a pint glass here that's lined with um, anti-slip and we'll just take out all the aggressive ones, all the excess ants, and we'll just pop them in there, out of the way, because uh, there's far too many ants in there. If I start moving the fungus, they're gonna be all over the house. So we've had to um, separate the majority of those. We'll take about 50% um, about of those ants <coughs> out of the equation. The um, We've got a very uh, an oversized landscape tray there, which is also lined with anti-slips. So we've got a, a number of barriers and then any that do get over that, because you'll find that uh, as good as the anti-slip is with uh, a few, few thousand ants going at it, they really will um, be quite determined. The brush I'm using is just a, a 50p brush from an art shop. It's a synthetic brush and they seem to take quite well to that. Um, this is a view, the same um, same thing you just watched but from a different angle. You'll see that I had the cube and the God Morgan plastic container right next to each other. So that wasn't really very wise uh, as they were straight up on all over that, all over the outside. So when I removed uh, the second one of these gardens, um, I put a bit of distance between that. If you were watching the, the live stream of this, uh, this is a, obviously an edited version. The live stream went on for two hours, so I've cut this down. So there we are, we've taken the excess ants, uh, put them in the container, into the pint glass. And we've got some good old fashioned kitchen utensils, which I still use for cooking. So I have to make sure they're cleaned and returned to the kitchen before anyone notices. You find using long handled utensils when removing colonies of this side is actually quite imperative. If I just put my hands in there and pick the fungus up, they'll be up my arms um, and all over me within less than a minute. So by using long utensils, it just puts a barrier between you and the ants. The, the fungus is quite earthy smelling, very mossy, um, a bit kind of hobbity smelling, if that makes sense. If the fungus is going off or, or the, um, the waste gardens are a bit stagnant and they haven't got airflow, they can smell pretty nasty, um, which is why I keep the those vented. When it dries, it's it's 
not smelly at all. So as I said, this process took um, two hours in all. So um, I have edited this down. So uh, this is where we transferred the ants. So they've settled down now after a few hours. Um, they have, however, um, settled into the two containers. But over the course of this weekend, they've decided to move some of the fungus up into the the top tank, which is uh, used for feeding. So at the moment, they've now got three gardens, which is not really ideal. So I've opened the, the top tank up uh, and ho hopefully that fresh air will force them to take that fungus back down into the two other cubes, which are now attached. If you were entering our competition last month, um, or last week, sorry, not last month, uh, we've picked out a winner for the Formicarium and the Nicobariensis Queen. Um, that will appear on screen shortly. So here we are, that's the Outworld, where they've decided to set up a fungus garden. Not ideal. You can see they're uh, running with it. So yeah, this is the prize that we're giving away this week. And this is the winner, English Ants. Not associated with us whatsoever, but kind of stood out. And so uh, we'll be sending that to you. If you could email us at sales at britishants.com, we'll uh, get that posted out to you. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you like our programs or channel. Thanks very much, bye bye.